IgA nephropathy is a disease associated with the kidneys, which are two bean-shaped organs in our body that filter out toxic waste products and excess water from blood, and excrete them in the urine. Now, inside each kidney there are clusters of capillaries, that is, tiny blood vessels, called glomeruli, which act like filters of the kidney to let water and the harmful wastes through, while keeping important things like red blood cells and proteins in. IgA nephropathy is caused by an abnormal form of IgA, a type of immunoglobulin, also called an antibody. Normally, this is a type of protein that helps the body fight against bacteria and other foreign organisms. When the IgA has an abnormal structure, it can accumulate in the kidneys, causing inflammation and damage. Now, because of the glomerular injury, red blood cells leak into the urine, causing hematuria. The amount of blood sometimes is enough to cause reddish or blackish discoloration of the urine. Protein leaking into the urine causes proteinuria, and may make the urine appear foamy. Frequently, IgA nephropathy presents in children or young adults as either microscopic or visible hematuria, meaning that it can be seen under a microscope or with the naked eye, and it typically develops during an infection involving the mucosal lining, like infections of the gastrointestinal or respiratory tract. In these sorts of infections, the production of the abnormal IgA antibody gets ramped up, leading to more accumulation in the glomerulus, causing inflammation and injury. With each mucosal infection, the glomeruli undergo more injury, so over time, sometimes decades, individuals may progress to renal failure. Renal failure means decreased kidney function, which may cause less formation of urine and building up of excess water in the circulation. This leads to high blood pressure, which can damage other organs like the brain and heart. In addition, the protein lost in the urine normally helps water stay in the blood vessels. With less protein in the blood, water starts moving out of the blood vessels and into the tissues, causing puffiness or edema, mainly in the face and the legs. Now, in IgA nephropathy, for some unknown reason, our body starts producing abnormal IgA proteins that the body recognizes as foreign. The exact reason behind production of the abnormal IgA molecules is yet to be known, but there is some evidence to suggest that genetic factors play a role in this disease. It's been suggested that IgA nephropathy is a complex polygenic disease meaning that there are many genes along with triggering environmental factors that contribute to an individual developing the condition. Whatever the cause, the result is that our immune system attacks these antibodies, which leads to the formation of clusters of proteins called immune complexes. These immune complexes then travel through the bloodstream and get trapped at sites of filtration, like the glomeruli in the kidney. IgA protein immune complexes deposit primarily in the central area of the glomerulus, known as the mesangial area, which is the tissue that offers structural support to the glomerular capillaries. Once these immune complexes start depositing, they trigger inflammatory reactions at the site, which ultimately lead to permanent glomerular damage, which may eventually lead to kidney failure. Diagnosis is suspected based on patient history and the signs and symptoms of kidney disease, like bloody or dark urine following a throat infection with cough and puffiness of the face and legs. Some clinical tests like urinalysis can check the urine for elevated levels of red blood cells and protein. Blood tests can detect increased levels of waste products like creatinine and decreased levels of red blood cells and protein. At present, the definitive diagnosis requires a kidney biopsy that shows IgA in the glomeruli that can be seen with the help of immunofluorescence microscopy. Material consistent with immune complexes in these areas may be seen on electron microscopy. Once the kidneys have been damaged, they can't be repaired. So treatment is mainly focused on preventing further damage and avoiding end-stage kidney disease. This can be done two ways. 
non-immunosuppressive medications that reduce blood pressure and scarring in the glomeruli, specifically ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers, or ARBs, are the cornerstone of treatment. These medications help by reducing the pressure of blood flowing into the kidneys and decreasing the amount of inflammatory damage in the glomeruli. As a result, the amount of blood proteins lost into the urine usually decreases. Reducing the amount of proteinuria slows progression of the disease. Immunosuppressive medications like corticosteroids, for example, prednisone, can reduce the inflammatory damage in the glomeruli, but due to potential serious side effects like infection, such treatment is reserved for patients with severe inflammatory damage and rapidly declining kidney function. All right, as a quick recap. IgA nephropathy is a kidney disease which affects the glomeruli causing leakage of red blood cells and blood proteins into the urine. The kidney damage may cause bloody or dark urine, puffiness of the face and the legs, and high blood pressure in some cases with degraded kidney function. Diagnosis is suspected based on patient history and clinical tests, and it's established by kidney biopsy. Treatment includes medications like non-immunosuppressive therapy with ACE inhibitors or ARBs to control pressure and reduce proteinuria and thus delay progression of the disease, and rarely immunosuppressive therapy such as corticosteroids.